Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back to Intuitive 144 Tarot. I hope everyone is having a marvelous day. I hope everyone is staying safe and staying blessed. Thank you guys for all of your love, your support, and your patience. Okay, make sure y'all like the video, share the videos, comment, all that good stuff. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If so, thank you for your support. And we're going to get straight into the message, okay? Because I'm trying to get out there into that sun, okay? Get out into nature. And give me something on this message, spirit. Okay, you have eight of cups in reverse. Someone is not choosing to walk away from something here. Okay, and you have justice at the bottom and the chariot. Okay, there could be some type of forward movement here. Someone could be taking a chance on something. Something is about to be balanced and equal for someone here. Give me something on this Eight of Cups in Reverse Spirit. Mm, you got the Page of Cups that came out crossing. Okay. Someone could be wanting to come in to give some type of apology. Give you some type of gesture or offer here. This could be someone that don't want you to walk away or collective. You're, you're choosing not to walk away from something. Maybe you feel like someone owe you some type of apology. Give me something else from the spirit. Someone um, <clears throat> wants something to be balanced here. Okay, you got the page of swords energy. For some of you guys, this could be a child. Okay, not for everybody, but someone, this could be a child that's coming forward, coming towards you to give some type of apology. There could be some type of um, talk or gossip about something. Someone here is trying to figure some things out. They could be watching you or learning from you here. Hmm. Give me something else on this spirit. Just giving child energy. Give me something else on this spirit. For someone, maybe you turned your back <laughs> on a child. I don't know. Everybody's situation is different now. Hold up. Oh, you got the Ace of Cups in reverse. There could be some type of blockage or delay when it comes to a partnership or a love dynamic here. Someone could be doing a lot of resting or thinking or contemplating about something. And then you have the Queen of Cups energy. This could be you guys, water sign, Pisces, Cancer energy. You could be doing a lot of thinking about a situation. Okay, maybe you are declining somebody um love offer here. Hmm. Give me something else on this spirit. You got the ten of ten of pentacles here. Yeah, this could be some type of contract. Hmm. You got the knight of pentacles underneath the page of cups. Someone is finally starting to pick up some type of pace here. To come towards you. Maybe for some of you guys. This could be someone. If it's not a child. Maybe this could be someone that's. um Child like. Like immature. Childish energy here. Hmm. Look, and you hear the Queen of Cups. 
and the four of swords energy here. Someone here could def definitely be spying on you. Okay, and you could be someone that's just um in solitude, self-healing, healing yourself here is what I'm getting over some type of situation. Yeah, a lot of stuff, energy, four pentacles to the hangman. Yeah, six of wands to the six of cups, six, six could be very significant. It seems like someone from your past wants some type of partnership with you. They want to come out the cold. Okay, um, they want to come out some type of uh, coldness and they want to have some type of victory and celebration with you. They are definitely holding on to you, holding on to this connection. But with this Ace of Cups coming out in reverse, you could have decline or there could simply be some type of blockage or delay. Give me something else on this. But whatever this may be, someone is choosing to stay put. Give me something else on this, Spirit. You could be a mother. You could be a nurturer. Very compassionate, loving energy here. It seems like for some of you guys, you got a lot. You have a lot on your mind. You got a lot to think about. You have a lot to analyze here. Before giving your cup to someone. Give me something else on this spirit. Mm. Seven of cups to the ace of pentacles. For some of you guys, you can have like a lot of opportunities, a lot of options here. You could be signing contracts, job, career, um, a new home, a new vehicle here. Um, you coming up on some type of financial gain in your life here. There could be some type of ch uh, choice or decision you have to make here. You have the devil to the ten, uh, ten of Cups, to the Death card. Capricorn, Scorpio could be very significant. Maybe this could be like a toxic family dynamic here for someone. Someone could be very obsessed with you, very controlling. I don't know who this energy is. It could be a Capricorn or Scorpio. It don't have to be. That's very controlling. Give me something else on this spirit. Yeah, look, even the Six of Swords came out in reverse. Are you guys choosing to stay put? Like, you choosing not to move forward? You could be feeling stuck here. This is you guys' energy. All you guys' energy. Hmm. You have a King of Wands to the Sun card to the King of Cups. This could be someone uh, from your past. It don't have to be. It could be a fire sign. Okay. Aries Leo Sag here. This could be someone that's very attractive, very ambitious, a go getter here. Um, maybe this energy, this masculine energy is choosing not to move forward or not choosing to move on, uh, uh, from a situation. They feel like you make them happy here. You do have the King of Cups here. This could be a couple. You could be involved with someone. Okay. It's like someone, this masculine energy is holding on to this connection with this four of pentacles. They don't want you to move on. They don't want you to move forward. They feel like you are the one that makes them happy here. Give me something else on this spirit.
but there's some type of delay. There could be some things that you are um, worried about. There's definitely some type of blockage here when it comes to a commitment or partnership. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Spiritually, that's the truth. Maybe you could be someone that have options and you're trying to figure out, you know, what to pick and choose, who to pick and choose here. Give me something else on the spirit. Oh, you got the uh, Queen of Pentacles coming out in reverse. This could be someone that's um, very materialistic. This could be a gold digger. This feminine energy. This could be someone that's um like money driven. Oh, we with the five of cups crying over a loss. This person could um only be about material material gain in their life here to the tower. Hmm. Some some type of communication could be coming in towards someone with this eight of wands. <clears throat> this is a um earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn energy. Someone could be an overspender here. I don't know who this other feminine energy is, but I know you are this Queen of Cups energy. Give me more on this, Spirit. Someone here is someone here is not grounded or stable. They could be going through some type of financial hardships here. This feminine energy. <clears throat> But you guys had the Ten of Pentacles and this Ace of Pentacles. Maybe for some of you guys, you just uh, strictly just focusing on your um, finances and security at this moment. Maybe you're not worried about love. Yeah, Eight of uh, Swords. Eight, eight could be very significant. Okay, for some of you guys, that's the, there's definitely some type of abundance coming in for you. But someone is feeling very trapped here. A lot of confusion. Hmm. A lot of mental entrapment here. It's like someone could be confused about should I stay or should I go here? And you have justice again to the chariot. Ten of wands to the empress. Hmm. Cancer could be very significant. They could be a cancer coming towards you. Okay, then you have Libra energy here and water sign again. There's some type of forward moving movement about something. There could be some type of legal action. Maybe someone um have some type of legal issues going on. Maybe someone is finally deciding to take action to take someone to court here. Give me something else on this, Spirit. Yeah. Six of Pentacles over top of this page of cups. Someone wants something to be balanced and equal here. They want to give to you equal. Okay? They even want to come in to get some type of apology. Look, the two of cups to the star. To the six of cups. This could be someone from your past to the six of wands. Six, six could be very significant. I'm telling you, there's an energy here from your past that want to have some type of victory, success, and celebration with you. They see you as a star. This energy could be healing. This energy from your past could be healing. So they can have a strong partnership with you. A strong connection with you. Okay? Give me something else on this, Spirit.
sunshine, sunshine. Hmm. I don't know who this Queen of Pentacles energy is. Hmm. This could be a um. This could be someone that's jealous of you. This could be someone that's um envy of you because you're choosing not to move forward. Like you're not you choosing not to walk away from someone from your past here. Hmm. Give me something else on this spirit. And for some of you guys, this can also represent for some it can represent a merge that went left, a merge that went downhill here. Okay. You could have been married to someone from your past. That's not gonna be for everybody. Give me something else on this spirit. <clears throat> Okay. It's like you could be doing a lot of thinking. You don't know what to do. It's like whatever you are doing, you're trying to choose wisely. You want to make the right choice for yourself, the right decision for yourself. There could be a lot of gossip surrounding this situation. Give me something else on this spirit. Ooh. Yeah, two of swords. There's something about some type of choice or decision here. It's something that you, you are not saying clearly here, collective. Okay? A lot of confusion. Nine of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Ten of Cups, to the Magician. There could be some type of um manifesting manifestation that you are doing. Okay, when it comes to like a fulfillment, a family dynamic, someone could be making some type of plans. You could be someone that's very stable, very balanced. Okay, you could be investing in something to, um. Bring in some type of success here with the Nine of Pentacles energy. Give me something else on this spirit. Knight of Swords. Someone is rushing in towards you. Yeah. Someone here is refusing to let you go. Let this partnership go. There's Knight of Swords over top of this Ace of Cups. In reverse, it's like someone could be trying to save a merge or save a partnership so they rush it in towards you they got some things they want to say they, they got some things they want to get off their chest justice is constantly keep uh coming up showing face it, it could be a libra air sign that's rushing in or coming in towards you guys mm -hmm. three of swords to the five of pentacles here to the knight of cups yeah. Someone is trying to prevent some type of heartbreak here.
And whoever this energy is that's coming in towards you, it's like they know that you are trying to make some type of decision. Should you stay? Should you go? They already know that you are on the verge of leaving. But I feel like for some of you guys, the only reason why you haven't left yet because you are up in your head. You you are analyzing some things. There could be a I, I see a lot of confusion around this partnership or marriage for someone. I feel like a lot of you guys are very stuck. So therefore it's like you constantly up in your head. You want you want something to be balanced. You want some things to be equal. Give me something else on this spirit. Too many cars that flew out. <clears throat> hmm. There's definitely a, um, some stuck energy up here. It's like for some of you guys, this decision or this choice is like you having a real hard time with this decision. You don't want to leave and this person from your past don't want to leave. But you feel like something was not being, um, something was not balanced. And you could uh, be in your feelings about that. You could feel some type of way about that. You just want things to be equal. That's all. Somebody, this energy could have been breadcrumbing you. Five of Cups. Yeah, someone here is um, crying over a loss here. Wow. Yep, this energy that's rushing in could have most definitely breadcrumbed you. And you got, yeah, they crown over some type of loss of a partnership, the two of cups, the king of wands, will of fortune, the world card, and the knight of cups. There's some type of cycle that could have ended here. And someone wants to start a new cycle with you guys. They want this will to turn in their favor so they can have this wish fulfillment, this partnership with you guys. I feel like whoever this energy come in already know that you are pretty much over the BS here. Hmm. Give me something else on this spirit. It definitely could be your mindset that's holding you back, collective, that's keeping you from making this choice and decision. Um, somebody's mindset is causing this de delay or blockage here. three of pentacles someone is uh picking up the pace because they want to collaborate with you guys this king of wands this fire sign keep 
popping up, y'all. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag here. <laughs> Someone want a new beginning with you. They want to come in to offer you a cup of love, a partnership. This person wants to come in to commit with you. Give me something else on this, Spirit. Oh, we death over top of the uh, the queen of uh, cups here. Definitely some type of ending. A lot of you guys could be going through some type of rebirth here, transformation here. Scorpio could be very significant. For some of you guys, you could feel like you tired of someone looking down on you or treating you like you're not worth anything. Um, someone in your energy could feel like they better than you or it's something about they look down on you, like you small to them. And that's why you could have ended some things. Look, the page of pentacles. This is a lot of page energy here. To the Ace of um, Wands, to the Knight, the Nine of Swords, to the Empress, to the Lovers. Yeah. Gemini could be very significant. Pisces Cancer could be very significant here. Um, a lot of you guys are really stuck in your head. You are. There's a lot of confusion. Now, you could be having mental breakdowns. You could be someone that's constantly crying in your feelings, upset about something, stressed, depressed, can't sleep at night. And it's crazy because whoever this energy is, is I'm telling you, this is a young energy. This is a lot of page energy. It's like they only want to come in to have sex with you. I'm telling you. This could be someone that's very immature, very childish. And that, that could be something that you stress out about. They really don't want to offer anything serious is what I'm getting in this page energy. But they only have dangling to offer or cooch to offer. Okay, because I, yo, I don't see nothing about love up here. You feel what I'm saying? Like, nothing about love. This is a lot of sexual, you know, activities. Like, this, this, this energy. This could be someone from your past or somebody new, I, you know, only you know your situation. And that's why you could be feeling some type of way, Empress. Like, you're not the type of person to have someone keep coming back and forth into your life to only offer you just sex and nothing more. Give me something else on this, Spirit. Please and thank you. Wow. The King of Swords. Air sign, Libra could be very significant. This could be someone that's arrogant. This could be someone that's very cold, very detached. Thanks, very logical. Head over heart energy here. Mmm. This energy don't wear their heart on their sleeve. This energy could be very emotionless. I'm telling you. They could even be heartless. This person could be very rude, very crude when it comes to their emotions. This could be someone that speaks to you any kind of way here. 
very ego-based energy here. Hmm. Give me something else on this card. Cold, heartless, yo. You have a king of pentacles energy. And it's right over top of the seven of cups. For some of you guys, you can have uh, two masculine energies that you're trying to pick and choose from. You have an air sign and you have an earth sign here. Someone that could be a boss, a CEO, own their own company, own their own business, very stable, very successful, very grounded here. Hmm. And for others, this could be the same energy. Give me something else on this bird. Mm. The Ten of Swords. Definitely some type of ending. There could have been a betrayal here. This King of Pentacles could be one of your options for some of you guys. Someone could be in solitude, self-healing, doing a lot of self-reflecting, carrying a lot of uh, burdens. There could have been some type of gossip behind the scene. Somebody could have been gossiping, talking about you. Hmm. Someone here could have had a lot to say about you here, collective. For some of you guys, you could have found out about this masculine energy talking about you. Look, the seven of swords. <sighs> definitely, so definitely a deceit energy here. This definitely a deceiving energy. Someone definitely did something behind your back and was trying to get away with it. Wow. That caused some type of betrayal here. Give me one more on this skirt. That caused some type of ending. And that's why you could have, for some of you guys, you could have caused this blockage or delay. With this masculine. Because they deceive you. Very heartless energy here. This energy might even want you to remain stuck. Remain trapped in your head. This energy might only want you in their energy to keep you confused. To, to constantly breadcrumb you here. Wow. I don't see no emotions on this board. No love, no nothing. This person just want to come in to have sex with you, breadcrumb you, keep you stuck, keep you confused. So you could be all up in your head. Hmm. This person kind of had multiple options. Look, the two of cups and a strength card. Hmm. You got the king of pentacles in the upright and you got the queen of pentacles in reverse. Like I said, for some of you guys, this queen of cups could also be your energy. But look, it's a lot of <laughs> trapness. Confusion in your head, a lot of sadness, a lot of crying. You trying to gain some type of strength. It's like you trying to overcome something here.
Maybe for some of you guys, you, you could be coming out in reverse because you don't trust this energy. You don't trust this masculine. For some of you guys, this could have been a merge. Look, and the Empress is in the back of this Nine of Swords to the Temperance. But for some of you guys, there's a Queen of Swords in the middle of all this shit. Mm-hmm. There's a queen of swords in the middle of this shit right here. Okay? The nine of swords to the empress to the temperance. You are a lot of you guys are healing. You're trying to get away from this energy, this stuck energy. Okay? You are. You want to be at a place of peace, harmony. Okay? You're trying to heal. You're being guided to do so. But there's a queen of swords here. That's in the middle of all this, you guys, connection. Because you have an emperor right here that's taking some type of leap. The emperor to the fool card, to the chariot. They want to come towards you. But once again, <sighs> I don't know what to say about this reading. I really don't. For 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 some of you guys, this masculine only want to come in to constantly just get have sex with you. I I gotta keep it real with you. I gotta read what I see. But there's definitely a, a a queen of swords energy here. It could be an air sign, feminine energy. It don't have to be, but it's a it's a feminine energy here. It's like trying to stop. This energy from coming forward. For some of you guys, you could be in separation from your masculine. Hmm. But uh, um, I'm going to leave this energy right here. I hope this reading resonate. If so, give this video a thumbs up. Everybody stay safe. Enjoy this beautiful day. Okay. Until next time. Bye-bye.